Defense Minister, Dorko Suchak. Uh, Mr. Suchak, you surely do stand accused of having used a period of internationally brokered peace simply to build up arms to launch an even bigger war. That's not correct, sir. We have not launched the war. Uh, we have uh, for months advised the international community of the importance of the bridge of Mastanika and the road from uh, Mastanika to Zadar. I hope you do realize there is now a million people at 700,000 uh, inhabitants plus 300,000 refugees that get supplies from Croatia through one ferry. Now, who in the world could, could cope with that? That ferry in, in the winter time for days does not operate. We cannot give any supplies. We have advised Butler's Gali, we have advised Mr. Vance and Lord Owen, we advise every international institution that something has to be done about the bridge. But the lines of communication exist for discussions, for negotiation, for this thing to be worked out, and instead you have simply turned to warfare. There, that line has existed for three months, and nothing has happened. Uh, every decision was postponed day in and day out, uh, and international community is informed of that too. We have, we have given it the absolute priority. The deputy premier of Croatia is stuck to a bunch of bandits in China to solve the solution. We have not been able to arrange a meeting that could uh, produce something that, that can happen to Masonista Bridge. But this I is hope you do realize also that, that to build a bridge will take us 14 months. We are losing next season of the tourism, which is the most important thing in Croatia. But Minister, it, I mean, let's, for a moment, I mean, tourism may be very important, the economy may be very important, but this is the late 20th century. There is surely no cause, no need to turn to war, to kill people in order to restore this particular link. There, this is the territory of the Republic of Croatia internationally recognized as such. We are uh, establishing a law and order on a territory recognized by international community. But in doing so, you have broken all sorts of law and order, not the least of which is the international arms embargo against Croatia. You have been shipping in sophisticated missiles, planes, tanks, weapons. Sir, if you could throw one plane that we bought anywhere, then I'll, I'll go in, in front of the International tri Tribunal and, and take the consequences. Well, I would refer to the uh, internationally respected Jane's uh, reference books, which talk very firmly of you having achieved at least 10 MiGs in the last year, having uh, purchased Sir, them. Croatian Air Force numbers exactly, and we are open to international inspection. Two airplanes that were in possession of Yugoslav National Army, two Croatian pilots, left with it last year and came to Croatia. One escaped to, to Austria and two pro, to Croatia. And that is the Air Force of the Republic of Croatia. Well, now, are you concerned that your action has now produced from Russia a threat to try to bring sanctions against you, which it will be very difficult for the international community to resist? I, I am not sure that the international community will take it as such. Well, you have broken international uh, agreements peace agreements, UN peace agreements, it is likely people will take reprisals against you. Sir, we have not broken international agreements. We, uh, the, the role of UNPROFOR, the role of UNPROFOR is to open the road in Republic of Croatia. That was the most important one. They have not been able to do it. We had no choice but to resort to this. And we inform them it is a very limited operation. We stop right there. We don't go anywhere else. And we will take the consequences for it. Is there a danger that this is now going to escalate into all-out war with Serbia? I doubt that very much. Thank you very much indeed, Minister, for joining us. You're quite welcome.